the Hamish and Andy Show. And a uh, My Little Boy's third birthday party coming up in a few weeks, or yes. third birthday coming yep. up in a few weeks, and I assume we'll have some sort of get together. Hmm. Well, we will because well, I got an email from your wife like about an hour ago saying invite me to a get together. <laughs> you, you. Yeah, no, we are having a party, <laughs> and I'm across that, and I know what day it is, and I know what we're doing, and as I'm about to prove. I'm the linchpin of the party because not a thing happens in that household without my (laughs) say-so. And I knew all about that. Yep. And good. I'm glad she followed my orders there and invited you as I requested earlier today. And I don't even need to see the invite because I'm sure it'll be the one that I uh, made. I don't know. It looks pretty specky. A lot of, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It took me ages. And it, you know. It's quirky and, you know, yes, probably. I didn't want to do a standard one. It sings, you know, Zoe more than you. I, I tried to write it in her style. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to ghost write it a bit for her. So I'm glad that's, yep, you've fallen for that. Um, here's the thing though. Uh, I was sitting around and my mum was over and there was a bit of chat going between Zoe and my mum and about like, you know, I just sort of picked, I was just tuned in. Mm. I suppose like, you know, like a spy satellite, just picking up a bit of chatter between <laughs> All these things islands. Were well, I wasn't really focusing, but I was just started hearing keywords pop out, like, you know, mum going, oh, I could take care of that if you want to make that. And then, oh, you know, he's, he might want this. And okay, well, we go, then Zoe going, okay, I'll find a place to do that. I said, what are, what are we talking about? So he goes, we're talking about Sonny's cake for his birthday. Yep. So what are we getting? So, and Sonny does change his, he loves cake and he changes his request quite often for Mm. what kind of cake he wants. Like, does he want a fire engine? Does he want this or that? It's like, we're very, 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 very much into the Disney movie cars at our house. And they're, I mean, he leads the charge. (laughs) (laughs) It wasn't the case before he came along. So it's been assumed for quite a while that it'd be one of the characters from the Disney film cars. Mm. Mater, who's the tow truck, he's getting uh, bandied around a lot. I picked up this conversation and Zoe goes, oh, I'll just think I'll find a cake store that can just do like a 2D mater. So yep. like a flat cake in the shape of mater. You look down on it from above. It's mater. Yep. Right? And I said, but what? Is that just decided? Is it? So he goes, yeah, well, that's, I think you'll love that. And I said, but you know, why are we pretending like we don't have a resource here? A man with proven problem solving techniques, mm. a guy that can get a job done, that can take a, take a mission on. Yeah. And drive it like an absolute bullock mm. and, you know, from woe to go, see things. Here. I said, well, I'll make the cake. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, no, that's okay. Thanks. I'm like, you know, whatever you were doing before when you weren't really listening, you can go back to that. I said, no, I'll make the cake. So now it became a thing of pride. You'll make the cake. I will make the cake. You will make the cake. I know what you're trying to do. Yeah. Because you're trying to stitch me up because you think I'm going to buy the cake and say I made the cake. Well, you've done that to me before. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it several times. Yeah. I actually won a cake making contest yeah. in our family by yeah. buying an apple flan yeah. put, and, and, yeah. and all the ingredients and pretending I was making it in the kitchen and yeah. then just pulling the pre-bought one out of the oven. Yeah. No, I will make the cake. I will make the cake. And I'll tell you what, I'm not going to make mater. I'm not going to make a 2D mater. Make I'm, it. Make a test cake. I don't need to. You do. I am going to do, here's what I'm going to do. People familiar with the film will know this when I say it. Uh, if you're not familiar with the film. I'm going to make a 3D, 2D, I'm going to make a 3D working Mac. Mac's the semi-trailer that Lightning McQueen lives in, in the film. (laughs) Working? I'm going to have a door that goes down at the back. (laughs) Because okay. that's where lightning lives. That, that, oh, no, you have an I've engine done, in it. I've downgraded a little bit from this cake driving in all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> it's a replica 300 horsepower. <laughs> okay. It's going to have a door on the back. And the and door's the, not edible, obviously. Yep. <laughs> going to make an edible door and an edible hinge. <laughs> Everyone this, outside's giving me the you know thumbs this, up going, you know should be a problem. Of? What? The Angus Burger. No, it's not this, the Angus Burger. This just smells this of chicken and cheese. This can be done. Guy at the, the pub, burger the you guy, didn't eat, by the way, the because the, I switched it out to you. Guy at the pub last night came, I walked in, the there guy at the pub last night goes to me, Oi, chicken and cheese, Good. get out of here. That should be your name, because you didn't <laughs> eat that burger. <laughs> Wait, excuse me? He's like, get out of here, mate. Yep. Good. I was like, That's hey, the right, that is not, the right. I support that. We're not yelling. 
not yelling chicken. And, my nickname's not chicken and cheese. He goes, it is now. He, he did then went on to say you guys got really close. Oh, that's positive. <laughs> Here's the thing, Andrew. I'm not just. Uh, I. You are just. You are just big noting because it's fun to but say you're going to do stuff. No, it's, it's exciting, exciting to, make, to make. It's exciting to make a birthday cake for your three year old child. It's exciting. And that to make is the a, promise of making it. That, but the actual making it, you won't find exciting. A this thrill. Is a, this is a, I don't <laughs> want taken from this father. <laughs> you. Thirteen ten sixty. Yeah. Have you been a cake hero? <laughs> Coming off very little cake training, did you step up on the day yep. for your child or niece or nephew and make an an absolutely stunning cake like I'm about to make for Sonny's birthday I, with a 3D Mac? Can I say... By the way, Zoe's... Well, he's getting two cakes. Zoe's not giving... She's also... That's what I was about, that's what I was about to ask. I, want, I was going to say, Zoe can't have a backup cake. Oh, she's going to. She won't let me do this all by myself. <laughs> okay, well. But if it's if my cake's the best, <laughs> <laughs> then the backup cake will be given to charity. <laughs> we'll be sent. We'll be just sent <laughs> down. We'll walk up and down the street handing it out to people, and Sonny doesn't need to know about the other okay. cake. Okay. Well, I look forward to eating the backup cake at the party. Yes, which and I invited you to. I look forward to seeing your sloppy mess. Uh, Sonny will go nuts with the 3D <laughs> Mac. Thirteen, ten, sixty. In the meantime, cake heroes. Have you been a cake hero? <laughs> The Hamish and Andy Show. Hamish, leading into Sonny's third birthday. Throwing my chef's hat in the ring, Ando. You said you'll be a cake hero. Essentially what's happened, though, is you're like Maggie in the opening titles of The Simpsons. Simpsons, you are getting to make a cake. Precious member of the family. That, that, when, when she's driving and she thinks she's actually driving the car, but she's just got a little plastic pracky one. because you, Car goes where she wants it to go, though. <laughs> yeah, because Zoe's buying a cake and you're just doing the backup one. No, no, Zoe's buying a backup cake. I'm doing the feature. <laughs> well, that's in your head. That's how it's been told to you. But I Zoe... promise you, I promise you that's what's happening because, <laughs> because Zoe's buying a 2D representation of the character Mater from the Disney film Cars. Mm. 2D's fine, but it ain't going to blow a three-year-old's mind. Mm. I'm making a 3D Mac yeah. who's a big Mac truck who's Lightning McQueen's best friend and has an op- a real-life opening door on the back of the cake, an, e- an edible you, door. You're making it by yourself. I'm going to make it by myself. Yes, no help. Well, no help, no. I mean, I'm going to use recipes and stuff for yeah, the cake, yes. um, but it's going to have a hollowed out trailer um, and it's going to have an edible door and an edible hinge, <laughs> hinge. <laughs> which I think will probably be the first edible hinge in cake history. Could so be. that's huge. And instead of being carried out of this studio on your shoulders, yeah. you've, you, you've, been, you've been skeptical. <laughs> that, that bothers me. And you put the call, you've put the call out on 131060 for cake heroes out there yep. to, who, to find the ons, to inspire you. Simon, ahoy, bud. Ahoy, boys. Ahoy, Simon. You now, a cake hero? Did, did you, you a cake hero? Did you answer the call to, to a child's birthday? Uh, I did, Haim. Uh, much like you, my uh, wife doubted my yep. skills and it was a pride issue and I had to take it to the next level. It is like me. Um so I made my daughter's mini mouse cake and freehand a it was two D, I will admit, but freehand the icing drawing of Minnie Mouse on the top of <laughs> an image off the web. <laughs> That's a risky move, Simon. I've I tried to draw Peppa Pig the other day and geez, I ended up with some sort of elephant mutant. It's quite hard to freehand what you think will be quite simple characters. <laughs> Did you succeed, Simon? I, I aced it. I actually was asked to uh draw it on a piece of paper beforehand to prove my skills. Yep. And I cheated and traced it without them knowing. Yep. yep. And showed them that. Yes. <laughs> this is this is the game. That's the game. I thought you were gonna say you were asked by Disney to come and <laughs> come and draw Minnie Mouse. So from now on we'd like you to do it. Thanks, you, Simon. You John, you're a cake hero as well. Ahoy boys. Ahoy, Ahoy John. John. Um <laughs> who how what what how old was the birthday cake you were making? What Oh it's Geez, I've made all the kids cakes since they were since they were you know first born. Legend. Um, Any official training, off. or did you just feel it nah. as a father? No, nah, just just well, it started off with my with my uh, partner. She um, tried to make the cake, the uh, train cake off the family circle or yep. Yep. kids Woman, cake book, and it didn't, book. didn't go too yeah, it didn't yeah. go too well. So saved it. <laughs> <laughs> cake hero, <laughs> Johnny boy. But I've, um, <laughs> Yeah, we've had Spider-Man rockets. We've had uh, a PlayStation 4 um, with controller. Uh, Look at this. Hey, John. Never hey, made a did hinge. You, did, you, did your kids get a PlayStation 4? Because yeah, it's a yeah, pretty... Yeah. Oh, they got, they they got, got, a, one they got a real birthday. one as well? Yeah, yeah, it's a bit sad when, bit sad when, they, uh, when, they, when they go to 
to get disc in that cake. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is, a, it is a bit rough to go, hey, guys, I, I, I bought you a thrilling novel, um, but I made you a PlayStation 4 as your birthday cake. John, wonderful. Pete, this has turned into cake gloating. <laughs> Which I hope to be doing in a few weeks' time. Yeah. Pete, uh, ahoy. Have you been a cake hero? You made your kid's birthday cake off little to no cake training. Ahoy, ahoy, yeah. Um, I just kind of really want to advise you strongly against this. Yes. Pete, yes. Come on, Pete. You what? are sensible. You obviously know what Kamish is capable of <laughs> performing. Uh, no, well, if, if, he's, if, if he's like me, he's probably capable of absolutely nothing. Mm, mm, um, that's that's but, exactly um, where I had him pitched. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my little boy has uh, just turned three. Yep. yep. And he's uh, he's a he's a big Paw Patrol fan. Yep, yep. And so I made him a uh, a Paw Patrol chase police car from 3D with wagon wheel wheels and jelly bean lights and and he's just done a wee wee and uh, yeah <laughs> he's just and doing he's, a wee wee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always good it's to let the nation five know. Hours. Five hours, Pete. Five hours. And yeah. were you happy though with the end result? Oh, it's amazing. But honestly, it was five hours of my life I'll never get back. <laughs> yeah. so, I mean, this, yeah, is, this yeah. is what we do for our children, Pete. I mean, I'll probably, I'll probably get mine in under four. You're not going to spend... It just depends, Ando, how difficult the edible hinge is. Yeah. <laughs> I just... I bet, I bet, yeah, I know we've lost Pete can, now. Can we I, have I, bet, side... I, bet, I bet Pete's police guy didn't have a hinge on the boot. Can we, have a, like can we have a side bet between you and I that of your course. cake doesn't get used? What do you mean used? <laughs> no, it as might... in it's not the main cake. Yes. So it could, it might make an appearance at the birthday, <laughs> sort of like when they like brought out brought out the criminal in medieval England, and everyone just threw <laughs> threw tomatoes at him, and then the king came out. Yeah, yeah. It will be used as uh, it will be used as the main cake. Oh, hang on a sec. Is this is Ange? Someone's called him that's made this cake. You've made the exact cake Hamish is planning on making. Yes, I made it for my husband's thirtieth birthday. Yep, he wanted yeah. Mac from Disney's Cars, and it had an, edi- and it had an edible hinge. <laughs> We didn't have edible hinges, but oh. he is the biggest Cars fan, and the Mac is his favourite character out of the whole movie. It's pretty good. It's a, he's, a, he's a cool truck, Mac. Um, <laughs> what stopped you from doing an edible hinge? Well, probably probably time, but... <laughs> yeah. If you were going to create an edible hinge, and what would you make it out of? I don't know. Maybe you could try using licorice or pretzels or something. I'm but... thinking a long pretzel. <laughs> Pre- pretzel with licorice loops. That's not what you're thinking. And that's not. That's. I mean, that's just sticking something on. That's not a hinge that works. No, long pretzel hinge with loops going around the pretzel. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ange. Uh, so and the... not hard, Ange. Not hard to make. Uh, not hard to make the rest of Mac though. No, just... the rest it's pretty good. It's pretty simple. It's all pretty straightforward. No, it's got its Where difficulties it's too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Should have gone back to you. Thank you, Ange. Uh, no, it is difficult, Ando. <laughs> so I just said, easy as you like. Piece of cake. <laughs> Not the edible hinge, though. See, she back it out. The Hamish and Andy Show. And uh, yesterday on the show, I floated a an ambitious <laughs> yeah. plan um, yeah. driven by the love of a father mm. to try and provide for his child. No. It's not driven by that at all. It definitely is. I want to make it's my son's by... absolute day on his birthday. It's driven by... And I'll by... stop at nothing to do it. It's driven by arrogance. <laughs> <laughs> um, large statements. Cease being... and desist. Cease <laughs> and desist. <laughs> <laughs> it's driven by large statements being made, being called... <laughs> Being called rubbish and yep. then not willing really, and a willingness not to retreat. <laughs> I've dug in. I've dug in and I've fortified my position. I claimed on the show yesterday that I shall be making my son's third birthday cake. cake. No cake eat making experience. You've also declared it will be a three D truck yep. with a back door that is with uh, with an edible uh, edible hinge. Edible hinge. The edible hinge is the thing that's captured a nation's attention. Uh, it has. I've been getting a lot of it's just, lot of. It's just going to be a lot a of TV, digital reach a, out. A TV snack on its side. It's not going to actually hinge the door. Goose, you goose! If you don't think I'm making the world's. Here's the interesting part about this. Yeah. Just to quickly paint the picture for people, um, it's a semi trailer. Yep. I'm making. Um, it's, his name's Mac. He's from the movie Cars. Now. Lightning McQueen lives inside Mac. Yeah. One of the key features of Mac is his ramp that goes down. Lightning drives up into his house. He's yeah. got like a studio in there and yeah. his wheels get washed. I'm not doing all that stuff, yeah. but I will make it so Lightning McQueen can drive up the ramp yep. and the ramp can go up. I'm not even sure if I should say what I told you this morning, Jack, the next bit I'm thinking of adding. Well, can I just say this? <laughs> can I ask this? 
th- will the hinge, will the ramp go up like with this like one finger, it goes up? Yep. And so it will hinge in and a it'll spot. And it will stay up. And it will stay up. And then one and finger, it can go back down. It can go back down. Okay. Now listen. And the hinge it's, it's hinging on won't fall off and it's edible. That's right. It's an edible hinge. Now this doesn't exist in the cake world. I thought it would <laughs> because I thought, oh, someone must have done this, but no surprises. So you've got to anchor the hinge somehow to the main cake. I but have it. Yep. So it can go up and down, up Greased and down. Greased enough to Light, Well, lightning has to go in and out, different races. Okay. He gets driven all over the country by Mac. Yep. I Googled edible hinge online going, I'll just see what other people are making their edible hinges out of. <laughs> no one's done one. No one's ever done one. Of course so not. I thought I'd call a cake store today yeah. to hit them with the idea yeah. that I'm going to make an edible hinge and just see if it blew their mind. Have a listen to this. Cake decorating. Yeah, hi there. How's it going? Good, thanks. I wanted to talk to someone about the concept of making a cake... It's sort of a semi-trailer shaped. It's based on one of the characters from the movie Cars. Right. He's called Mac. He's yep. uh, Lightning McQueen's best friend. Yep. So it's a semi-trailer. Yep. But at the back of the semi-trailer, the door comes down. There's an edible hinge. Yeah. That's cool. Have you ever made an edible hinge? Well, it would bend. You just put it onto icing. Mm. You'd have to... No, it can go down and up. It's an edible hinge. Yeah, edible hinge. Okay. Uh, you'd have to just use layers of rice paper. Uh, that seems more like a fold. Yeah. This is an edible hinge. That's bendable, hey? Bendable's not a hinge, though, is it? I mean, when oh, you have a door... Oh, you're going to get, mate. <laughs> well, is it? When you have yeah. a door on your house, they don't go, yeah. we'll just put wood here and you just bend it in and out. You know, they put a hinge yeah. on it. Uh... Sorry, just, I should point out here, I'll be making this. Yeah. I'm just letting you know I'm going to make an edible hinge and make cake history. Yeah, all right. Well, good luck. Thank you. Okay. You've never heard of being done, though, have you? No, no. But I'm sure you're the man to do it. Are you relieved I'm not giving you the job? I am. Well, I'll take care of it from here. Good on you. Thanks, mate. Thanks for your time. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I don't think they get too many people calling up with a cake order. It's mostly just bragging. Okay, so I'm sitting there in the stu- I'm sitting in the studio, pacing back and forth today, going, "Okay, edible hinge." I'm doing some blueprints and I'm drawing up some mock ideas mm. about how I'm going to make this edible hinge. Thinking, no one like it's just now between you know it's this room and I've talked to this cake guy, but not expecting to have made too many ripples in the world. Then the phone rings, Ando. Hello, Matt. I hear you're trying to make an edible hinge. Who's this? Matt, don't you worry about who I am. Well, I will worry who this is. Thank you very much. How did you get this number? Nah, seriously, don't worry. Okay. Hey, listen. Yes? You're on the right track with the edible hinge. A lot of people are going to tell you you can't do it, bro, but it's been done once before in the 1800s, and I believe you could do it again. Tell me more. Send me schematics. Something. Nah, man, I've said too much. I've got to go. You'll probably never hear from me again, unless maybe tomorrow I've got something else to add. See ya. Who are you? Don't go. Interesting, though. Oh, wow. Can you believe that? Yeah. So now, I was almost, I actually was almost willing to give up after the cake store. And then this, this, this secretive, nameless man, who's obviously pretty well connected in the cake world, has called me and gone, you're onto something. And he closed and he wants to see me do this world first edible hinge. So I won't give up. Another update probably tomorrow. I hope so. (laughs) The Hamish and Andy Show. Hey, what's up, Ando? Uh, well, you, do you want a cake update? You promised me one. Yep. Look, very interesting. A very interesting world I find myself in now. Yep. Uh, being a non-baker and having no cake experience, of mm. course, a few days ago, I made the decision and the claim that I would be baking my son's third birthday cake. Yep. Um, I've got a, I've got a few weeks. Three and a half. Three and a half weeks mm. uh, to produce the goods. I'm counting it down, mate. I know you are. I know you are. Mm. Uh, and I'm excited as well, and the cake industry is excited, because what I'm actually <laughs> attempting to do is a world first. No one's ever done it before. I'm making a semi-trailer cake. That's been done before. The part that hasn't been done before is? Edible Hinge. Yes. On the back of the semi-trailer, if people are familiar with the Disney film uh, Cars, uh, Mac is the big red semi-trailer. <laughs> He's got a, like all semi-trailers, like a lot of car-based semi-trailers, not yep. all semi-trailers, some have an outswinging door. Mm. Max back door is a bottom hinged ramp yes. that comes down so the star of the film Lightning McQueen can drive up the ramp and live inside Mac. Now, some of the trailer will be will be a cavity. Yes. Um but not all of it. You won't be able to park a car in there, but that's all. I will be able to park a little car in there. Oh, of course I will. 
A little car, like a matchbox car? No, well... To uh, scale? No, the car's size car. Okay. Like a little toy car. The, the, okay. You know, people that have got kids, you know, the standard Lightning McQueen car, the little so die make it even car. harder for you? No, it, that's perfect. It'll actually be a bit bigger. It'll be quite roomy in there for that little guy, but it won't go all the way up to the cabin. It won't okay. be a completely empty trailer. Yes. I'd say about a third of the trailer oh, will gosh. be a cavity, you, you, and there will be some detail inside the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> this is all new news. <laughs> this is just... This is just, again, the list of things go on and on about what you're going to I've be. showed some restraint. And we- <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say and it would be we'll a completely empty nothing. trailer. We'll see nothing of You this. will see something, and it will be just as I prophesized. The here's, edible hinge. Here's the, here's the thing about the edible hinge. Mm-hmm. Everyone's been saying to me, mate, just use toothpicks. Just use, you know, whatever. Use a stick. Mm. That's what cake people do. I spoke to a cake guy yesterday. He's like, mate, just use rice paper and fold it down. Yeah, he didn't like that. Like, mate, you can't. Ask me to present that to my son, he'll storm out. Yep. I might never see him again. Yep. I've promised him an edible hinge. It's all he's talking about. Mm. Dad, when's my edible hinge cake? Um, could I just have a cake of hinges? Yes. Maybe <laughs> uh, last night he said to me, Dad, maybe everyone could have, instead of a lolly bag, an edible hinge to take <laughs> home and they could use it at their house. And I said, let's just calm down, Sonny. Your yeah. dad doesn't even quite know how he's going to do it yet before you start I've offering got a, I've got a couple of ideas, actually. I've got some, right? Okay. Everyone... Everyone's been the thing is this has caught everyone's attention. Mm. We've had so many emails coming in also from overseas from podcasters going, yes. Have you thought about this? You thought about a musk stick. Yeah. Don't make me laugh. The friction on a musk stick would be furious. Yeah. I was in the studio today though. Yeah. Look, the thing is I've got my idea, right? Okay. I've got my plan. I've got my it involves custom built marzipan and a few other tricks. Okay. And I was in the studio today sketching away on my blueprints, right? Yep. You know I come and spend a few hours on the edible hinge each day. <laughs> yes. I'm sketching away. I didn't think anyone knew I was in the studio. Yeah. Then I get a phone call from my cake insider. Yeah. Right? Have a listen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that could work. That could work. Yeah, so where's my graphics calculator? Hello? Matt, I hear everyone's trying to throw ideas at you for this edible hinge. Yeah, it's really clouding my vision. Don't let it. Stay true to your vision, bro. You're close. Thank you. I do have a very clear vision. I believe you. Yeah. I mean, but if people also have very clear visions, I'm obviously happy to hear them. Oh, yeah, of course, Matt. I mean, you're not an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, keep them coming in, for sure. Yeah, keep your visions coming in. Anyway, I have to go. I've said too much. Wait, who are you? I must know. Okay. My full and real name is... Hey, cake police! Hello? No, wait! Oh, my God, the cake police. I've got to go. Oh... Cake police nearly got him. Damn. Oh, God. Very interesting call. <laughs> a call designed for you to get people to write in with ideas. No. Yep. As, I, <laughs> as I said, <laughs> as I, said, I very have a very clear. clear vision of what I'm doing. <laughs> but if other people have clear vision, you'd love to hear from them. I did not say I'd love to hear from them. I said it'd be rude to ignore them. <laughs> And so oh, they are God. coming in at HamishAndy.com. He's already floundering, everyone. <laughs> <He's> already <laughs> floundering. <laughs> I said I've got a clear vision, and I also appreciate and respect other people's clear visions, you put, which is a sign of a true leader. Can you put write down your clear vision for me, and I'll put it in an envelope? I'll say this. Yeah. No. <laughs> the Hamish and Andy Show. In three weeks' time, Ando, I head to the kitchen to create my masterpiece yep. uh, for my son's third birthday. I'm going to make him his birthday cake. And I've decided to... So you're going to make it on the Friday? Friday morning? Uh, Wednesday's party on the weekend. I'll probably start making it on the Thursday. This is... I don't want so to bore we, you are with... We, are we going to see it in here? What... Oh, I'll see. I'll show you a couple of demos, a couple of, couple of prototypes. But I don't want to bore you with how you do this because you're not really a cake guy and mm. I am in the cake world now. Mm. You make your sponge early and you freeze it so you can sculpt it um, a little easier when it's frozen. A mm-hmm. uh, little trick of the trade. You probably don't get it. Um, so yeah, I'll be, I'll be making Jack's hating you just as much as I am. <laughs> it, that is natural to fear, uh, competence and mastery. It goes, dates back to when we were apes and I'm a bigger, stronger, smarter ape <laughs> you and are. you're the ones just picking nits off each other angry that I'm getting all the babes in the tribe. You are, you are an ape. <laughs> I'm um, a cake ape. And so I'll, I'll be, I will be developing stuff that week. So yeah, you'll get a little squiz of stuff and I've got a make up, you know, cause I'm making a semi trailer for people that aren't aware of what's happening. <laughs> a red semi trailer from the Disney cars film, mm. Mac. He's a big, he's a Mac truck. Mm. And the piece de resistance on the cake is the edible hinge, is the edible hinge yeah. at the back. Mac's every part edible. 
Every part edible. No, you started. You were <laughs> suggesting yesterday chubba chub sticks and this, all this craziness, like you hadn't been listening to the show. Edible hinge. That's why it's a world first. That's why I've got everyone in the cake world going, you're mad. You can't do it. Yeah. That's why I've rattled the establishment. And that's why even Cake Boss, that guy off the reality show, has Good contacted boy. me. He's written to me saying, back off. Yeah, right. And I've said no. No. Uh, the, the, the back trailer will come down. Yes. And Mac will be able to drive in. So the edible hinge is well into development. One side note I wanted to talk about briefly was I had an idea. I got a little bit cocky last night and I, as I was explaining this <laughs> to my <laughs> wife. I was in the bedroom saying as though, she was like, how's the edible hinge going? Said, yeah. yeah, you're really good. I've got a lot of good ideas. Got a pretty clear vision of how I'm going to do it. Yeah. Um, people have been writing in with so many suggestions. But don't. So. Please don't write in with suggestions. Well, I've, we've had about a hundred. I know, but please don't. I see them as well because the whole point is you don't have a clear vision. Couple you're going to steal someone's. A couple of them were pretty close to what I'm thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing I said to Zoe Edible Hinge will be fine When that door comes down mm. Said you know And the theatre happens Wait till you see Sonny's face And she said What do you mean the theatre happens And I realised I've said too much Because I was going to do something Without telling her mm. And she went what, what happens when the door comes down And I said Oh don't worry about it And she went Unfortunately she guessed correctly What mm. I've been thinking She went You're not putting dry ice In the back of the cake <laughs> Said, well, I am because I want to have a, like a little laser in there, like a little disco ball. So when the back door opens, yep. smoke billows out, and you can get lasers through the lights. She went, edible laser? Do not, <laughs> not edible laser. Unfortunately, not edible. I looked. She was like, do not put dry ice in the cake. I said, I think I will. Just a one cube of it. Yeah, exactly. And she's like, what if a kid grabs it and puts it in their mouth? I was like, mm, yeah, yeah. There's gonna be some three year olds around. Yep. That'll I said, burn, but I can, I can have security or a bollard or something. <laughs> <laughs> or like a roped off a VIP area. Yeah, like yeah. stand back, kids. This is this cake's too advanced for you to be near. But yeah. you know, get a good posse. Have yeah. a look. Anyway, she banned me. She was like, "Well, you're not absolutely not allowed to put dry ice in the cake." So I've been dealing with that creative setback a little That's bit. Annoying. And I didn't think anyone knew about the dry ice, mm. right? So earlier today, when I'm in here in the studio, when I was working away on my prototypes, right. Can you imagine my shock mm. when well, you know the guy that's been calling me <laughs> from inside the cake industry? Yeah, I know the guy. This informer. I'm working away on my like sketches, <laughs> yeah. and the phone rings. <laughs> God, what am I missing here? Maybe I need to be working with Pi to a thousand digits instead of a hundred. Di- oh, hello, mate. It's me. You're getting even closer with your work on the edible hinge. Oh, thank you. I feel really confident. Hey, are you safe? I was worried about you yesterday. Ah, uh, yeah, I am. Thanks for asking. I'm actually just baking a cake now. Hey, listen, but. Forget about this dry ice stuff. Hmm, you sure? I don't know. It seems pretty dangerous to be around three-year-olds. I can understand that, but I was going to have security around the cake when I showed off the back of it. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Or maybe like a small roped-off area. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, no, I reckon that'll work. Maybe uh, don't give up on it. Have a think about it. Now, listen, there's one ingredient you're forgetting with the edible hinge. Listen closely. Oh, good. Please tell me, because I think Andy thinks, like, you actually just call me up to pat out this segment because... I don't have that many updates on the edible hinge, but... Mate, that couldn't be further from the truth. I've got a lot of things to say. Oh, my God! It's a bear! <gasps> Matt, he must have smelled the cake I was making! Oh, my God! Are you OK? Run! Run from the bear, everyone! Ah! <laughs> OK, oh, thank you. So close again to getting info. I was so close. <laughs> you have to admit. The Hamish and Andy Show. And an edible hinge update. Um, you well, might think it's... my silence on cooking mm. and constructing my son's birthday cake has been because I forgot to yeah, do anything. I How wrong you would be, my friend. You reckon? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. Um, I how would... do you know that I haven't been every single night scrolling away back in my cave? Do you know how many days till the birthday? Yeah. Party? It's not this weekend. No. I had a minor freak out it was. <laughs> it's the weekend after this one. Yes. And so I still have very uh, plenty of time. I've actually probably got time to have four failed attempts yeah. before I you get it right. You have time to do that. You won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know I haven't been at home every night sketching, thinking, pacing up and down, yeah. uh, yelling at the cat to stop meowing, like yelling things like, silence, I'm trying to think. Um, because... And call me the mentalist here, <laughs> but I have a strong hunch you haven't because I know what you've been up to. <laughs> it, I've found out some things recently. For those that don't know, I'm trying to essentially make a semi-trailer cake, cake in the shape of a standard semi-trailer, 3D cake, with an edible hinge. The yeah. back door goes down. That's the bit. 
that has got Australia talking and has got the world talking. We got you pretty quiet over the last two weeks. <laughs> no, it got me thinking. I'm hearing all of the talk, but I can't butt in if everyone else is talking. <laughs> I've been. I would like. Can I put a message out to people though? Yep. Stop sending me videos, uh, like direct messages and stuff on Instagram and Twitter, of you doing the edible hinge. Yeah. Okay. Have they pulled it off? People pulled it off. Well, people are trying. People are going. What about this? And yeah. I've had some people just like doing like talking to camera, going, "What about this?" I'll I'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> I understand the world first. Someone did one out of icing and showed me that it would break. I knew that. Yep. All right, I'm already looking at toffee and other harder substances for the okay. edible hinge. <laughs> okay. Someone sent one in, someone had a toothpick in it. Yep. And I just was like, I reported them to Twitter <laughs> to get them banned <laughs> because they're obviously someone that doesn't pay enough, enough attention, attention on Twitter, which yep. is one of the big rules you can get kicked off for that. So I, I understand the buzz. Like I do, I, I do get it. It's an exciting thing. It's always yep. exciting when someone's breaking a boundary and pushing science past where we thought it was possible. Yep. So now it seems that there's not, it's not just um, bakers at home, home bakers and, mm. and pro bakers that are, that are trying to steal my edible hinge um, invention. Yep. News came in. Uh, did you hear about this? No. <laughs> <laughs> News came in. Yeah. The, new, um, the new iPhone is obviously rumored to be released sometime this year. Yeah. And I got some audio from the, like they obviously don't just do the announcement yeah. cold like they rehearse it i have a bit of audio from one of the guys at apple like practicing the keynote oh. and it looks like the um edible hinge has snuck its way into the iphone tim and johnny have told you that there is a beautiful new refined design for edible hinges we're going to cover it with 10 major edible hinges it starts with this new finish we call icing and toffee. The new integrated hinges are built so subtly you can barely see them at all anymore. And of course, the enclosure creates the housing for the Lightning McQueen toy. It is a beautiful new design and it looks very cool, very high tech. And very delicious. Hang on. I'm, I'm, not, I'm confused about the conceit. Like, is it, it's like, it yeah. meant, was that meant to be like the new iPhone? Has edible hinges. Has edible hinges? <laughs> or because that, he didn't mention the phone at all. If I was going to do that. No, he's just saying the phone has that stuff. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because What's he, the problem? Well, I, just, well, I mean, I can't. I can't tell them what audio to send me. That's just the leaked audio I got from with inside Cupertino, California. You spent so much more time on that than anything to do with baking. <laughs> I'm just saying. It will hinge as a sweep in the world. Yep. Even the bloody iPhone guys are putting them on the new iPhone. <laughs> That's not difficult. Catch up. They're like, Jack, you, you understand that. Uh, well, that means everybody's going to have one and yours isn't going to be That's, special anymore. Yes, Jack gets it. So I'm racing to market. Okay, I'm, okay, okay. I'm against Apple. That puts more pressure on. That makes it more exciting. <laughs> God, now we're following. <laughs> hey, five days away. From the cake, the birthday cake you vowed to make for your son. He knows about it too, Ando. Yeah. I've accidentally, a couple of weeks ago, I was obviously more confident about yeah. this cake. Yeah. And I talked it up around the house. Oh, you've done all your favourite bits. You've done your three weeks of talking it up to everybody. The glory, not the deed. <laughs> <laughs> when really, you sh it should be the reverse. Yeah. But I'm full of confidence. <laughs> And I was full of confidence going into the weekend because I had my weekend mapped out ahead mm. of me. I had a pretty gentle weekend. Mm. Um, I thought, look, you know, a couple of little, few things on, but not a lot. I've actually had, I thought, you know, uh, as many as 12 to 18 hours across the weekend where I could be maybe even with Sonny yeah. doing test cakes and starting to get my head around the actual cake making aspect. The cake itself is semi-trailer Mac, the character mm -hmm. from uh, Cars. Yep. It's semi-trailer and you're going to have a, an edible hinge because mm -hmm. the back of the trailer will fold down for a car to drive into. That's it. right. There'll be a little toy car in the back, a little yep. toy Lightning McQueen. Yep. It'll blow Sonny's mind and it'll mm -hmm. be great. Well, now, the edible hinge is coming along. It's yep. still theoretical, <laughs> and I'm working on that. The actual cake side of things, you can't yep. forget the cake. Yep. Um, I had all this time mapped out. Hmm. I unfortunately started coming down with a bit of a cold <laughs> on Saturday. <laughs> you, you wouldn't know because you don't care. You don't care. <laughs> so I can, and I can attest that because I went to Yum Chow with John, and he said, you seem a bit sniffly. I said, yep, I think I'm getting a cold. I think Andy's giving me a cold because <laughs> you had a cold last week, didn't you? <laughs> take the weekend off. Did you or not? Did you or did you not have a cold <laughs> yes, last week? I had a cold you last week. You had a cold, week. and I think you gave it to me, but I'm not blaming you, although I'm certainly putting some dots up to be joined. <laughs> went to Yum Chow with John. He said, you seem sniffly. I said, oh, look, I'm going to power through. I've got to go home and make this cake. Yes. Unfortunately, should have gone to Yum Chow. Well, <laughs> Dumplings are sometimes the second best medicine behind laughter. 
I unfortunately, th- I think the mixture of dumplings, yeah. tea, alcohol, yeah. um, it blew me apart. My body wasn't ready for it. Yes. It pushed me into a dark place. I had a ferocious cold Saturday afternoon going into Sunday. Mm-hmm. Wasn't quite able to get the <laughs> cake making done. The only thing we I tr- have a go tonight. Then. The only thing I tried to do on the weekend was make coconut pancakes mm-hmm. for the family. Sat- Sunday morning, traditionally, we do pancakes. Yeah. I opened the pantry and found a packet of coconut flour. And I went, oh, what's this? Zoe was still in bed. I went, I've never heard of coconut flour before. Yeah. I'll make healthy pancakes, yeah. I thought. It's just should be the same as normal flour. So yeah. I just put eggs and milk and <laughs> coconut flour in, whisked it up. I went, that's about right. Yeah. Put the put the pan on, dumped this stuff on, and it was like this wet coconutty pile. <laughs> I looked at the back of the coconut flour. Do you know what coconut flour is? It's just coconut. Yeah. It's just minced up coconut. So essentially, I was cooking wet, eggy, milky coconut yes. well, on the pan. A sign of the skill level. That so I had you a had. bad. I had a bad weekend in the kitchen. So yeah. this morning, I was in here, obviously working away, and I thought. You know, this guy that's been calling me, this cake informant yeah. from within the cake industry, yeah. he's not, he's probably lost all faith in me because he, he, I haven't done what I said I'd do and I'm now right up against it. So luckily I had the recording equipment on yeah. as I was pacing back and forth <laughs> this morning. Damn it, damn it. Come on, call me. I knew it. I knew it never call me again. My lack of cooking has ruined his faith in me. God, I've let the whole baking community down. De- oh. Hello? Mate, it's me. I just wanted to say you haven't let the baking community down and I have total faith in you. Whoa, did you hear me just now? No. Incredible. Matt, you're going to do great this weekend. But, you know, I sort of, I didn't get much baking done this last weekend. Yeah, but weren't you sick? Yeah, but... Matt, you can't bloody bake when you're sick. You can't go to the fridge when you've got a cold. You're going to get even sicker. Mm, No, that's a good point. But do you think I'm ready? But what about the pancakes? Yeah, but they didn't work. Yeah, but they show that you're experimenting. Mate, you're much closer than you think to creating the greatest and first edible hinge of all time. Ah, thank you. That's really a huge confidence boost. No worries. Now, listen, the secret is this. Yes? You just have to... Oh, Oh, no. Eat my hinge, squat team. Hang on. Wait a second. You've cooked one? Nah, mate. No one has. It's just a saying we all use them in the basic community. Oh, cool. See ya. Things, things, things getting pretty intense for, for that guy. So Put never some got time t- into making the cake. Yeah, and then he said, "I'm a lot closer Stop than I think." Stop bringing yourself. <laughs> Stop <laughs> bringing yourself. <laughs> First, you make me sick, <laughs> and now you level these baseless accusations. <laughs> Make the cake, man. <laughs> oh, it's rubbish, oh, Andy. Oh, that's too much from you. Hey, we waited for your son to leave hmm. before I brought this up because on Saturday, yep, it's his birthday and you promised to make cake for him. Got my work cut out for me, Ando, mm. for those for me with the hit Disney film Cars. Mac is the semi-trailer, mm. his favourite character. And a semi-trailer wouldn't be complete without a ramp that comes down at the back. Now, what do you have at the bottom of a ramp? You have a hinge. Mm. Hang on a sec. That's a three-year-old's birthday cake. Don't use a toothpick. Don't use a skewer. No. A fully edible hinge. The world's first. I promised. Mm. So, the the reason why I need to bring this up with you is today you bought me a cake. Yes, I did, which I thought was a nice thing to do. When I got into work, there was a cake there, and I said, oh, that's nice. Not just any cake, a thoughtful cake. It was a golf ball cake. And what what ball do they use in the sport that you like? <laughs> golf ball. <laughs> <laughs> so it was very thoughtful. You're welcome. But it did prick my suspicion. I was like, what's he doing at a cake store? Don't worry about that. Worry yeah. about the nice gesture I gave you. So I thought to myself, what are you doing at a cake store? And I thought I'd I'm ask you. doing a you, nice thing. But instead I rang the cake store. <laughs> I'm doing a very nice thing hmm. for you. Uh, I was just buying you. I was obviously there to get supplies because you can't make it a cake seems from to me, It just seems to me, Han, that mm. someone else is doing the bulk of the work Not true. for Not this true. cake coming up. Take that back. Tell me exactly what the guy from the cake store is doing. Well, nothing. I was just there to buy some supplies because you got. What I need you, icing. What? I need fondant. Yes. Right? You can't make your own bloody fondant. You, all the ingredients you have, and if you say you're going to make a cake, all those ingredients are at a supermarket. Mate, it's not like it, I've got to put colouring and roll it out. Because I went and I said, look, can you get... I pointed to the cakes in there, yeah. and I went, I'm making this. And he, went, <laughs> he goes, are you? And I said, yeah, I'm going to, have a, I'm going to do this myself. Which I realised as it was coming out of my mouth was a bit insulting yeah. to go, this thing that you've made a business out of, yeah, I'm obviously. just going to do this. And I went, what have you got on the cake? Is that icing or what is he? Because it's fondant. I went, all right, well, do you sell it in sheets? Because I'll need quite a lot of it. 
goes, no, you don't sell insulin. He said, well, give us a lump. He went, well, we don't sell lumps. Went, well, how do you get it? And it's in a big sausage. So I was in there to order a couple of sausages of fondant, so, which is the icing. Shouldn't you be making the icing? If you're making the cake. Oh, what's the diff, mate? Well, the diff is you're not making it. Well, I'm putting it on the cake. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, but where's the line? I mean, the line is: Are you baking this cake? Well, if I, if you not? get flour, mm. if you get flour, oh, shouldn't you have milled the wheat? <laughs> is that cheating? <laughs> no. So where's the line? There's the I line. Might not have, <laughs> I might not have. I didn't milk the cow, Andy. I, think, I didn't milk the cow for the <laughs> I, milk. I, I, I bought it from a nan in a carton. <laughs> when you ask, where's 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 the line? I think we've found the line. Yeah, that's a well, basic my, ingredient. My, my, what I'm saying to you is, you buy. Different ingredients at different levels of preparation the whole way along. Yeah. So, so are you, is this guy making? I'm a not. Cake for no, you? no, he's not. I'm not going to the cake shop. I didn't say to him. How I want much a Mac cake? So if I if I went out this morning and here's what I bought. I yeah. put in an order for fondant. I bought the milk, the flour, the eggs, the sugar, all the things you need. Yes. And. Huh. And. Um. A cake board. <laughs> no. And. And the fondant. And what else did this guy get ordered? From? Oh, and the and the little uh, golf ball cake. <laughs> There's nothing else that you ordered from this uh, cake, mate. The cake, the flour, and the sugar and the eggs, yeah. I will get in some assembled form. Yes, from him. He's giving me the flour, the sugar, the eggs, yes, the milk. But but he's mixed it. Are you will you be doing any mixing? <laughs> I will do some mixing. <laughs> <laughs> when will you mix? <laughs> I will mix on Friday night. <laughs> no, you won't. Oh, look, I, he's helping me with a few no, base mugs. The mug guy's cakes. making the cake. No. You've outsourced the cake. I'm, I know what you've done. It's their square cakes, and I'm assembling it into the Mac shape and putting all the fondant yeah, on. Yeah, you're cutting up a pre made cake. I'm building cakes. <laughs> so sorry that I wanted oh, to say gosh. the kitchen. <laughs> At home on the eve of a birthday party from Unnecessary Mess. I'll still be in there slaving away making all the toffee for the edible inn. You don't even know. I do so know. I went to a go. So big whoop. The yeah. the milk, the flour, the sugar, the eggs that I bought will happen to come heated up and cooled down in a square shape. <laughs> it's still buying the stuff. You've bought a cake. I have not bought a cake. Yes, you have. I've ordered a cake. <laughs> but I will assemble it into the shape. That's just the raw materials. No, you've bought a cake and, and you're going to make I, it into a different type of if cake. If I buy a log, have I bought a table? I have not bought a table. Yeah. I bought a log. <laughs> but and I will the... craft it into a table later and yes. I should get the credit as the table maker. Okay. Here's what's, here's what's happened. We're it's, out of time. It's Ikea. You've, you've gone to Ikea and you think you've made a table. You have it, mate. You've assembled the table. No, what you're doing a lot is more you're, assembly you're required. A, yeah, you're assembling a cake. I've gone to the people I care buy their stuff off. Sonny, I'll assemble a cake for your birthday. And some mixing is required. <laughs> Not the I'll fondant come plain. The fondant you comes plain. I have to colour the fondant myself. You haven't made it. I'm making a cake for my son's birthday, <laughs> driven by a father's love. Assembling. This is the Hamish and Andy Show podcast. Just so you know, Ando, I'm, we're leaving it be, yeah. uh, the whole cake situation. Mm. But if I drove past the house, mm. right, say I was a builder, mm. and I drove past the house and I went, uh, I made that house. Mm. You go, that's the same as built. What do you mean? But building's the same as making. Um, well, it'd be weird to say I made a house. <laughs> Well, that's what I said in the in the story. Yeah, I built that house. Would probably what you'd say. Yeah, but I made so, that house. If someone came, went, drove so they made a cake, built a cake. If he came past and said, oh, "I I made that house," I go, "Do you mean build?" <laughs> <laughs> no, and, it, no and in my story, everyone in the car goes, "So oh, shut up, Andy! You're such a stickler." <laughs> so three can play at that because I put another person in the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here's here's my point, Andy. <laughs> when you see the cake on Saturday yeah. that I've made, and I've completely Assembled. made the edible Assembled. hinge, yep. I make the edible hinge from scratch. Yep. That's all going to be toffee and secret ingredients, mm. all edible. You're going to look at it and go, <laughs> surely the credit goes to the person who's done the difficult stuff on the cake. Hey, yeah, sure. You and that will be me. You haven't baked a cake. Who cares? <laughs> It's just cake. So what? So okay. what? So I found a company that, that mixes literally milk, flour, eggs, and sugar together. Oh, may we all bow down to the secret masters of baking. It's just the, <laughs> the decorating's the hard bit and the geometry of yeah. assembling Mac together. That's the bit that'll blow you away. Yeah. And and all the dry ice, that if, depending on not, if I'm allowed to use it. And uh, putting all that to one side. Yep. I After have been detecting mm. a bit of a vibe from you this week mm. that A, you think I'm a bit of a mad party boy and B, that you want me to write a song about it. And I've done that for you. I've played for you in a couple of minutes. This is the Hamish and Andy Show podcast. Tomorrow there is a party. Yeah. It is my little boy's third birthday party. Yes. There will be 
Two cakes in attendance. One made by a professional. Which is the backup. Not you. <laughs> which is in, insultingly called the backup cake by and my then wife. A or the real one, cake. She often calls it the real cake. A second one also made by a professional. Incorrect. But Hamish has then taken that and tried to assemble it and pass it off. All right. Zone. We're not going to get into the whole legalities of who made a cake, who didn't make a cake. Because it's pretty cut and dry. <laughs> it's yeah. actually cut and moist. And oh. it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's all I did was all I went to a shop. Mate, Is this a crime? I went to a shop. I got eggs, milk, flour, sugar. Yes, Cass- it was mixed. You're the Cassie Sainsbury. There's a lot of holes in your story. And I, I can explain them all. <laughs> okay. Tonight I will be spending hours driven by nothing but a father's love mm. assembling my son's assembling. He's finally used the word. Cake. Assemb- that's what baking is. I'll assemble a bit of milk in here, assemble a bit of sugar, well, yeah, you pop see, it in the can. You've used the word make, you've used the word bake. It's nice to see those ones leave Mate, I'm your making it. So you. What are- else am I doing? Did a builder build a house even though he didn't make the bricks, Andy? <laughs> yes. That's what I'm doing. I'm building a house. Okay. And it's the, it's a cake-shaped house, right? Anyway, so Sonny, um, you've also promised him an edible hinge, well, the, which the is cakes. because a, a cake's a semi, uh, semi-trailer. Semi-trailer. It's a Mack truck, and the back is meant to fold down with an edible hinge. How it's, you, it's a ramp, and Lightning McQueen, if you're familiar what with What are you going to make out of? What? The edible hinge. Oh, wouldn't you like to know, mate? Yes. <laughs> I think everyone would, because you've talked about it for two weeks. Three Stay weeks. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. What? what? We're going on break. It's We've a got... secret. It's not a secret. It's a secret to you, I think. Not a secret to me. And okay. uh, I was having this exact... I was doing my final calculations this morning mm. in here in the office. And for people that have been listening to the show, there is a shady character in the cake world mm. that has called me and at times offered advice and support as I go on this quest to make the hinge of that ramp. No one's ever made an edible hinge, by the way, before in their life. Mm. It's a world first. So as I'm figuring out the physics of this and how do I how do I put together this cake, lo and behold, this morning, and I didn't think he would call, but he called for <laughs> one last final time. Hmm, maybe there's a different value for pi I could use. Ah, three point one two. Yes, that works. Hello, mate. It's me. Tomorrow's the day. You're so ready. You're gonna blow the world away with this cake and edible hinge. Oh, thanks, but. Andy thinks I'm cheating because I bought a simple cake to be used in the much, much more elaborate cake that I'm making. Man, is a builder cheating because he doesn't make his own bricks? That's exactly what I said. I just hope I do the cake community proud with the cake I make tonight, you know? Mate, you've inspired the cake community in ways you couldn't possibly know. But, like, how? Well, man, if I told you, then you'd know. Ah, so wise. Listen, I've got to go. Release the prisoner. Whoa, where are you? Matt, I'm in cake jail using my one phone call they give you. And I'm in here because I bought a very simple base cake that I went on and used in a much more elaborate cake and some snitch tried to get me locked up for it. But you're being released, right? Yeah, I'm being released because using a base cake is not a cake crime. Hmm, your words. Hey, man, I have to know. Tell me one thing, one secret ingredient that you're using to make the edible hinge. Okay. Icing. Ah, incredible. I'll text you some pics over the weekend, man. Hello? <gasps> He's gone. That's okay. powerful. I can't wait to see this piece of shit tomorrow. <laughs> well, you're going to have shit on your face, mate, because I'm going to make you eat it. <laughs> the Hamish and Andy Show. You said you'd make a cake. Yep. Um, you said you'd make a cake. You said, firstly, you'd bake a cake. I think I said make. <laughs> I think in the end we realised. For your son's the most... birthday. Two weeks ago, his birthday. And it had to be uh, a cake. Mac, uh, the character from Cars. Yeah, a big red three, semi-trailer. A 3D semi-trailer yep. with enough space in the back to park uh, Lightning McQueen yep. inside it with an, a hinge that dropped down so he could drive out. Well, and the, the hinge yes. had to be edible. Sorry, the ramp uh, to drop down. And a lot, tray, of, yep. a lot of people like a tray... A lot of people, if you're making such a cake, would go, okay, simply construct the ramp mm. and have it in the open position, yep. and that's fine. Yes. Uh, I said, no, yep. that's not how trucks work. Yep. Um, they are hinged. Yep. No, exactly. It wasn't a perfect <laughs> working replica of a now, truck. Now, can we say that you... <laughs> All I said was edible hinge. You made a very good cake. You assem- we can say that. You, you we can as- say that for minutes. As- you assembled... A very good oh, let's cake. not get into this, mate. But does a builder need to <laughs> go and dig up this. the clay and make the bricks? No. He <laughs> so, puts them together and so, he builds the house. Yes. So Haim did outsource and he makes the, the cake part of the cake. I bought two basic mud cakes. <laughs> Big whoop. I basically bought 
sugar, flour, milk, and eggs but, from a shop. <laughs> assembled and baked. Assembled in but some ratios with some do heat added. Is put and should go. To, we had we put it up on our on Instagram, but yeah. you did assemble. A fantastic cake. It looked great. Mate, I was there in the kitchen with, I tell you, with the trouble of making with the, the cake. With the help of Hayden. Hayden, uh, who's a mate of ours and yeah. happens to live next door to me. Um, who's not a professional cake maker. Not at all. In yeah. fact, was a professional heckler for hours before yes. even he, him and my wife heckled me for the first two hours of the cake. Yeah, he said that you were terrible. Drinking and- beers. <laughs> uh, the big problem was yeah. I wanted to start the cake at about five or six o'clock the night before. Yeah. I wanted to start it straight away. Yeah. And it was, oh, it would have been six o'clock because I think we are on air the night before. Yeah. As soon as I got home, I wanted to start doing it. Because I knew it would be a long task. Mm. I mucked around a bit, put something to bed. I was like, I've got to have something to eat. I can't do a cake on an empty stomach. Then as I was heading towards the kitchen to make the cake, I walked past the TV. Team America was on. Mm. I mean, <laughs> it's a, what a wonderful film. And I thought I'll just stay for a few jokes. But every line's a zinger. <laughs> so just, I mean, it dragged. And it just was like, well, I can't leave now because this is one of the best bits. Yeah. And they're all the best bits. Exactly. I can't leave when the cats come out. The cats are so funny. Yeah. I watched Team America. <laughs> Then <laughs> that night that he went, right, got to get down to making this yeah. cake. Then there was a period where I had what can only be described as a hissy fit. Uh, laid all the ingredients out and went, oh, this is ridiculous. And you did a late night run to Coles. That's when we realized the hinge, first hinge idea that we were trying to do out of icing wasn't yes. working. And so made it to Coles with about a minute to spare before yes. midnight because our Coles shuts at midnight. Yes. But now, in can, the end, it was t- all done. Tell everybody what you made the hinge out of. In the end, the edible hinge mm. was made out of a salada. Two saladas, actually. One was hidden in the chassis of the truck. Yes. Uh, um, a salada, we very, very finely cut, like I said, to Stanley knife out a couple of holes. And then it was sort of roped around. There was like a, we managed to find at the supermarket, Coles brand, mm. um, very thin gummy rope. gummy rope, essentially, which I can see having no taste value to yes. someone. Really, it's a food that just has structural value. I couldn't believe we found it. Yes. Um, I wouldn't recommend real trucks using, using Not it. structurally correct. <laughs> no. And then there was so much icing around the salada yeah. uh, to give it a grey yeah. appearance yeah. that it sort of made it go soggy and was very, very heavy. And bit... Did the – here's my two questions. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Did the tray stay up by itself? Not, n- n- who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it would be a fully working tray. It would be an edible hinge. What does a hinge have to do? So A they... hinge must move. <laughs> yes. And Next question. Were you saying it was an eatable hinge or an edible hinge? Edible. <laughs> Technically edible. Now, at first, yeah. this question came up. Because eatable is... You can eat it. Well, it sounds... Eatable is... It's got to be marginally enjoyable or palatable. Never said that. Never said that. Edible, edible. is Possible. consumed without danger. And I think... as a sunny, For instance, I gave I let, I let Sonny eat a bit of the salada. He was confused yeah. because in his mind, he doesn't understand sarcasm. Yeah. And a lot of the hype I'd been building up around this cake was edible hinge. Yes. Sonny's gonna, got to the stage where anyone would say to him, hey, we're coming to your birthday on the weekend. He yep. would say, we're going to have a cake mm. with an edible hinge. Mm. He, was, he didn't know what it meant, mm. but he was so excited about it. To the point where now, and then I was showing him hinges on doors and how exciting it would be that the hinge on his cake could be eaten. Yes. To the point now, he'll point at a door yeah. and show me the hinge and go, Daddy, look, there's a hinge. <laughs> like hinges have actually become a thing that we <laughs> bond over. It's our special thing. What? He thinks it's it's a grown-up thing to love hinges. <laughs> so now he's actually obsessed with hinges. It's gone full circle. One final question then, because Zoe, your beautiful wife, had That's her. bought another cake on the day. There was two cakes there. Uh, there, were, there we and... just had a lot of guests. That's No. <laughs> Percentage-wise. Yep. I saw a lot of people enjoying Zoe's bought cake. Mm-hmm. I didn't, by the time I left, I hadn't seen anyone die. It in. wasn't cut. My cake wasn't cut because. Did anyone eat. Out of respect. No, did anyone eat your cake at all? That day? Ever. Yes. Zoe left it constructed because yes. she was like, we can't cut it up. She was actually quite proud of it. And I'd hollowed out the trailer. Re- and I realized and I'd actually. used a musky as an upright, which I was impressed it with. It was sort of like a tunnel support in yeah. there. But I realized I'd actually hollowed out a lot of the cake. Yeah. To the point where it was like a hollow cake, because it was just icing. <laughs> and I, I, I didn't sleep the night before, because there's this icing called fondant, which it mostly was. And I was just eating tons of icing as I was going. And I was wired. I didn't sleep till six o'clock in the morning the night before. I was wrecked for that party. So no, I recommended that the children stayed away from the cake. Edible, but not eatable. This is the Hamish and Andy Show podcast.